We have our drug take back box. We received it about a week or two ago. Um, hopefully we, we are looking to get it installed maybe by Friday. We do have to have the road crew bolt it to the floor. That's one of the rules regarding having a box like that. It has to be in a common accessible area to the public, which will be in our lobby, and it has to be bolted to the floor. Um, there is an instruction paper attached to the box that lists what can be deposited. Um, obviously, you can't put needles or aerosols or liquids in it. It's strictly for pills. Also, they don't want um, uh, anybody other than individuals bringing their medication down because what they've found through these programs, some businesses will try to take advantage of this and bring mass quantities in to dispose of. But some of the other rules are when, when an individual comes in to deposit their medication, we're not allowed to ask them who they are or what they're putting in there. We just hope that they follow the rules. So as the container inside fills up, I'll weigh it, put it in a garbage bag, store it in the evidence room, and every quarter, I think it is, the Army Corps of Engineers or, or the National Guard, I think it's the National Guard, um, has a remote location which we take the items to to have them disposed of properly. But we're hoping to have that in by Thursday or Friday of this week. Chad? Yes? Do they want you to leave the pills in the bottle or dump them in all together in a plastic bag? Or? They didn't really say, but when you put them in the drop box, it goes into a Tupperware bin. I would say just leave them in the bottle. That way you don't have to touch them or anything. Because, you know, it's hard to tell with what's out there nowadays how potent it can be. 